I've been really enjoying using this setup. Video wise, I wanted something as current as possible. Went with a Sigma 18 to 50 millimeter f2.8. It's an APS-C format lens, so you're not going to use it in a full frame, which is a little bit of a negative, but for this specific use case, I think it's perfect. Bought it used, in this case, KEH. Just got it. I have not opened this box, so you're going to go along with me to see what is in here. Hopefully it's the lens. Hopefully it works. It's a like new minus. It should have the caps, the hood, and probably not the box, but we'll see. Double box. That's pretty nice. Very good padding for the lens. Double boxed. You can't really hope for more in that case with shipping. Comes in a little bag. Here it is, straight from KH. The hood works nicely. So far, it looks really good. There's a little bit of scuffing on the cap e-mount. Very clean. This does have a rubber gasket on the back. I did have some of these Sigma lenses for the EFM system. They're pretty nice. This one is very close in quality and such, it seems like. But it's newer. We'll see when I put it on and run it, but it looks decent. Okay, that's smooth. That's always a good sign. Sigma is one of the companies that still has a lot of production in Japan, which is cool. So you can see here, this is 16 millimeters on the kit lens for the Sony. This one's 18. So you take the little dots, line them up. It's a little bit more resistance in this case, considering that it has a gasket in the back. It's focusing. That is the maximum. It does have some curvature going on. Here's a lens at f2.8, 18 millimeters. Is it different? Is the background different? I'm not totally sure. Obviously it is, but noticing the difference will depend. That's the kit lens from Sony. I did adjust the autofocus settings. It seems very, very fixated on my face now. So if I hold up a product to the camera, it's a nice separation and if i zoom in yeah very very nice especially for this view with my videos i do a lot of drink reviews lately uh, anything product related that i'm holding it and doing a zoom in is going to be much benefited from this lens compared to the kit lens with the f2.0 aperture maximum throughout the zoom range i can set the auto iso back to fixed ISO. So there'd be much less of this where things change constantly. And I'll just do full manual. This is 1000 ISO. I could probably take it down a little bit. Currently 800 ISO. Set it to neutral and I have negative one. We'll see, I might change those back. So I did turn this on. Okay, it's set to manual exposure. Makes the videos more consistent. Makes them look better in general. Actually, I could probably drop exposure a little bit more here's 640 okay so now my forehead's not as bad this is actually a huge visual upgrade compared to the kit lens considering that variable aperture and now when i zoom in the exposure doesn't change awesome that is great is it worth 500 something dollars Maybe. So far, I think this is an awesome upgrade for this setup. Also, KH, great job on the packaging and such. The lens meets the expectation of what it was rated. Hopefully it works well and we'll see. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. It's got a photography bonsai, thanks.